Hi there Sagittarius, I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person, see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? We have Six of Sword, King of Pentacle, Six of Wands, King of Cups, Two of Wands, Lovers, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. Wow. Okay, so everything that you and your person have always wanted is coming to fruition here. This is beautiful. Uh, this King of Cup energy. Uh, in this particular deck, there's a feminine king and a masculine king. Uh, and it's interesting, we have the both kings come out. The feminine king of cups and the masculine king of cups. So you may be... Um, you know, whatever you choose to label your relationship, you may be uh, twin flame, you may be, uh, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine here. Uh, there's something coming to fruition here. You belong together. Even if, even if, you know, people outside of your connection don't understand you it's okay it doesn't matter anymore maybe that's what held the two of you back maybe there was some um people that questioned your relationship like what do you you know like question like why what do you see in each other or but but you know it's something about um letting that go it doesn't matter what anybody thinks or says about this connection you belong together. You are each other's counterpart. There's success here. There's joy here. There's prosperity. There's abundance. It's like you and your person are being drawn together. The universe is giving both of you what you need in order to move forward here. Um, you know, you, I feel like you will be able to support each other um, in in all ways. Uh, you know, this feminine king of pentacles, it's, it's kind of like... Um, it's, it's uh, you know, the ability to provide uh, a lifestyle, uh, the ability to be able to nurture each other, the ability to set goals and reach them and achieve new heights. I feel like the, the universe is drawing the two of you together. The world is your oyster. Um, you and your person can create anything you so desire at this point in time. At this juncture in your lifetime right now, anything is possible. The, the possibilities are endless. I love this. Seven of Cups on that Six of Swords. Wherever you and your person want to go or decide to go, you are supported. The universe supports you uh, financially, physically, emotionally, mentally, the whole nine yards. There's big success here. Yeah, the decisions that you make together will be very prosperous right now. There's success, there's love, there's this um, yin and yang connection that you have. Yeah, and there's strength. Look at how you, you support each other. You know, there's something about being passionate here, um, being relaxed here, like a, a very nice balance of energy. Uh, lots of love here, lots of understanding, a new beginning, opportunities abound here. Uh, this two of wands, like the universe drawing the two of you together. Yeah, look, queen of cups, or your counterparts here. Like your love is about to grow and expand here, regardless of what anybody else says. Yeah, I feel like I was getting that kind of energy like people may um people may have like questioned like what do you you know why what's you know but don't worry about what anybody else says you know some i feel like there might have been a little bit of interference um in this connection like people didn't understand and that's okay it's all right let that go be confident in self and loving self here uh ace of wands yeah there's a fresh new start there's a creative new beginning there's love there's passion there's all of the above here and the, the universe is drawing the two of you together here yeah and if you were separated or if people didn't understand you that's leaving now like that that feeling of being held back is is leaving we're going forward we're making a deeper connection here we're going to um 
be each other's support system. I'm here for you. You're here for me. Um, there's definitely a big transformation here. Uh, we've got a death energy on the bottom of that deck, and we've got a Hierophant energy on the bottom of that deck. So big changes. Um, Hierophant, number five, is a turning point. Things are changing. Things are solidifying in the material world. Spirit meeting matter. You know, life and death is like the beginning. You know, when we when death occurs, it's just new life begins. So the past is over, and the new is about to begin for you and your person. Wow. Woo. All right. Okay, so this white light oracle message uh, jumped out of the deck, onto the floor. I'm going to read that in closing. And if you watch my readings, you'll know that when cards fall on the floor, it's like extra energy. Pay attention. So we have number 40, the Sovereign Queen Maeve. Uh, and that number four is like there's a stability here. There's a groundedness here. There's st stability um, to, to build upon is what I'm getting. Okay, so let us read these uh, words of wisdom from the oracle. It says, value what is sacred to you by protecting it from interference, even that which may be well-intentioned. Be compassionate, but set firm boundaries. You are going to triumph over a negative situation. It will take courage, but you have more than enough inner strength, resourcefulness, and boldness to accomplish what you wish to attain. Do not give up. You have the ability to connect with higher worlds. So open your heart and mind to the light. Peace be with you. Bye now.